welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. And I'm going to go through um, ordering a cross stitch pattern from Heaven and Earth Designs um, and things that you might want to take into consideration while doing so. Now, I have only done one or started one Heaven and Earth Designs. I am by no means an expert. Um, but hopefully this will give you some hints and tips to get you started. So there are many cross stitch patterns that you can convert into diamond paintings. Um, but this is one of the most popular ones that people do. So first things first, the website is heavenandearthdesigns.com. Um, they are an American site. However, you know, you can purchase anywhere in the world. And one of the hardest things to do um, is to decide what pattern you want. Now, that's not something I can necessarily help you with, um, but it is something that will take quite a bit of time. So you have a few different options um, on the website. You can go to new releases and see what they've just brought out. So I'm recording this on the 3rd of July, but for example, we've got ones here that were added on the 1st. So there is loads and loads of different options. You've also got the option um, of charts by artist. Now this is probably one of the most popular ways of looking um, is to find an artist style that you like and then maybe decide on a painting that you want to do. Um, but there's loads, absolutely loads and loads to choose from. Um, there is also, if I scroll all the way back up, there is also a few free charts. Um, if you're a bit short of funds, you might want to choose one of their free ones um, to do. But I say, that is the hardest part, is deciding what pattern you want to do. Now, there may be a few things that you need to take into consideration while when deciding on what chart that you want to do. Um, one of the things is the size that the chart will be. So I'm gonna use a stitch in time as an example, um, because that is a chart that one of my subscribers is thinking of doing. Um, so this will be quite relevant to that person, but you can adapt this to any chart. So one thing you need to think of is the finished design. Now, when they state the finished design size of 725 width by 518 height, that is the amount of stitches. So to get a true measurement of how big that's going to be in a diamond painting, you do need to do a little calculation. So each square diamond, you can do these in round. However, I personally wouldn't recommend it due to the fact that you're working on a blank canvas that is white. Therefore, any diamond you place, even a black one, is gonna have some white edges around it. Um, but each square diamond is a quarter of a centimeter in width. So it's 20, 2.5 millimeters in width. So what you need to do is take the amount of stitches in the width, so 725, and you need to times that by 0 0.25, which is the size of your diamond. And that gives you the width of the canvas that you will need in centimeters. Now you can then convert that to inches if that helps you to visualize it, but all the sellers will be interested in is the centimeters. Now, you do always need to round it up. So on this one, it's 181.25. You will need to round that up to 182 centimetres. Otherwise, you are going to have to remove a row of diamonds. Um, it's always better to have a little bit more canvas than not enough because you can always cut the canvas off. So for this, it would be 182 centimetres wide, which is pretty wide. Um, and if we go by height, so we've got 518 times 0 0.25. 
gives you a height um, of 129.5. So rounded up, that is 130. So you've got 182 by 130. That is pretty big. <laughs> um, so you do need to bear that in mind when you're doing a canvas. Now, the regular canvas, so this is a regular chart, a stitch in time. Um, AS, I think, is for Amy Stewart, who's the um, designer of this. Um, so this basic chart is those measurements and it contains 87 colours, which is quite a lot for a diamond painting, considering we normally do 30, 35. Um, but some people also like to do what's called the max colour. Now, the max colour of the same one is exactly the same height and width, but it contains 237 colours. So you get a lot more colour variation in that, which can give extra clarity. I wouldn't want to do that as a cross stitch um, because I do feel as though I would be forever changing threads. Um, but as a diamond painting, I do quite like the max colour if you're going for a big one. Um, part of the reason for that is that, that quite often you can find that you may have some of those colours um, already left over from other paintings. So it can mean that you don't have to buy as many. Um, or like myself, I'm currently doing um, Little Dreamer's Tree and I'm using all spares. Um, if you're going to do that, I would pay attention to the image that you use. Um, but I will touch on that again in a moment. So you have the standard chart, which is your regular charts. We also then have um, max colour chart. So you have more colours in it, but it's the same size. And what they do offer in a lot of designs, but not all of them, is also what's called a mini design. So it is the same chart, but smaller. So in relation to this one, it is only 325 stitches across. So to get the calculation, that is 81.25, so 82. So you lose 100 centimeters off the design straight away um, by 232 times 0.25 is 58. So it's 82 by 58, which is a lot more of a manageable size if you're wanting to do a heaven and earth designs, but don't want to go ginormous. This may be the option for you. Now in the um, mini charts, they do only do the basic colours. They don't do the max colour in the mini chart, not that I've seen. Um, I, I say I'm, I'm no, by no means an expert, so I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, 89 colours is still a lot for a diamond painting. So if you do like a design, you may want to consider doing the mini um, in a diamond painting, unless you want the massive project. Then by all means, do the big one. Um, so yeah, that's something to bear in mind when you are um, looking at a design, is the amount of colours and also the size. So they're the two key parts. Your finished design size, which you will need to convert, and how many colours it uses. Now, once you've decided on that, there is a lot of preparation that you may want to do or you can do before you even think about purchasing the chart um, by all means go ahead and purchase it if it's a definite but there are things that you can do before you purchase so we'll have a look um, we'll have a look at the, the mini and we'll have a look at the max now what they also include um, before you purchase is a floss usage chart now of course this is relevant to cross stitch um, it will again tell you the size so that you can work that out and print this out and scribble it down on a piece of paper if you want. But they will also then tell you the colours that are in that design. Now, one thing you do need to bear in mind is DMC numbers between 1 and 149 are quite new to DMC. 
They're a couple of years old, but that is quite new in the cross stitch world. You will tend to find that those numbers are not available as diamond colors. Um, there are some charts out there on Google that will allow you to convert them to the regular or the older DMC numbers. But you need to bear in mind, you might have that little extra step. Now, in regards to this one, number one is white. So that could probably quite easily be changed to um, B5200. I'm not sure if that is in here. They tend to put it at the bottom. Um, it's not in this in this chart. So that could potentially be an easy conversion um, to change it to a B5200 and your image will still look good. Um, but apart from having a look at the numbers, the main part that we want, while this gives you the symbols and is great if you want to make your own label stickers, um, of which I do have a video on, what we're really interested is in this section, which is the usage summary. Now, Heaven and Earth Designs don't tend to do half or quarter stitches or back stitches, which is great for a diamond painting because we can only work on full diamonds. I would not even want to contemplate trying to trim diamonds down into halves. <laughs> um, so that's not an issue with this. If you are looking at a stitching pattern from another provider, you may need to bear in mind that that is potentially something um, that you might need to look out for. We also don't need to look at the estimate of how many skeins you will need, because again, that is floss. What we are interested in is this section that says full. So this will let you know how many diamonds, in our case, of each color you will need. So for number one, you need 1,971 diamonds to complete the picture. In 150, you need 305 and so on. This is what you use to be able to order your packets of diamonds. Now, one of my suggestions straight off, regardless of what image you're doing, is to have a look through your spares and see if you have the complete amount um, in one color in the same dye lot. So I don't know how long you've been diamond painting, but while DMC are, are, are quite strict on their threads being the same, no matter when you purchase them, diamonds can vary quite a bit between dye lots, sometimes between manufacturers, sometimes just as time has passed. And you can find that while they're similar, they're not the same. On an image such as a stitch in time, you're not really gonna notice it because you're only using a few diamonds within a, within a space. So for example, even though we've got purple, we've got a lot of purple all the way across this top row, you will find that you will only have a few of the diamonds in this one and you'll have a few of the diamonds in this one. Well, if they're not next to each other, you're not gonna notice the color variant, variant. So I would suggest going through your spares and seeing, because quite often you can have 300 diamonds left over from a painting, depending on how generous um, ones that you've already done are. That just saves you purchasing them. If you haven't done any, this may be your first project and you're wanting to buy diamonds purely for this. Maybe you don't keep your spares, maybe you're not interested. That's fine too. Um, most diamond sellers that you can purchase from um, do diamonds in a pack of what they call 200. Now it's approximately 200 which means it could be a little bit less, it could be a little bit more. And you do need to bear that in mind when you're placing your order. So for example, this one is 305. So I would get two packs of that. If they had a true 200 in, that gives you 95 extra. Whereas, let's see if I can find one that's closer. So maybe this one that has 377, 
You could order two packs, but that would only leave you 23 spare if they put in the right amount. You might want to order an extra pack of that just to be sure. Um, 824, I would order five packs. I wouldn't expect each pack I have to be a little bit over. So what you need to do for this is you basically need to take your figure. So when we've got a higher figure of 1971 is divided by 200 will give you how many they say is in a pack. So that's 9.85 packs or 10 packs. If you want to be extra cautious and allow yourself extra diamonds for maybe diamonds that are, you know, a little bit bad, I've got little glitches in them. You want to allow yourself space for any that may get dropped while you're working or any bags that are a little bit under 200. I would be tempted to treat the bags as having 180 in them. That gives yourself 10% extra diamonds to make sure that you have enough. And in this case, it's 10.95. So you'd actually buy 11 bags for doing this and to me that would be better because if you only bought 10 bags you're only giving yourself 29 diamonds spare so if each of those bags is short by a couple and you drop a couple and a, a couple in each bag are you know not fit for purpose you could find yourself short so you need to go down and do the same for each number now some sellers um mainly those that are country based so for example there is smith beads in the uk and um, there is brandy cooper in america these are just ones that i know of um you can send them this list so you can just send them this this floss list and they will figure out how many diamonds you need they'll even figure out the canvas size and you can order it as a kit um, but for if you're ordering from AliExpress um, because of the language barrier I'm not sure if they will all be able to um, work it out for you you may be best doing the maths part of it yourself um, now say so that is completely up to you and who you want to order from um i would say um to to potentially work it out yourself if you're using aliexpress so that you can make sure it is clear what it is that you want um but some sellers have been providing diamonds for heaven and earth designs before the best place to get information and help is the Facebook page. There is a Facebook page for Heaven and Earth Designs Diamond Painting. Um, I do understand that not everybody is on Facebook. Um, and if you're not, sorry, <laughs> but they are a wealth of information. Um, they're very good at answering questions and helping people along with the process. They also have a files section um, that will that provides, I think they have an Excel spreadsheet that you can type in these numbers and it'll tell you how many packets. Um, they also have a step-by-step -step guide as well. And of course, personal recommendations from people. But you can say you can do a lot of your planning and prepping on this before you even think about placing a diamond. Um, you can get your stuff ordered. So that is really, really helpful. Um, if we go to the max collar, again, we still have a floss usage chart on here. Um, we'll skip past all the multiple numbers that are with the symbols and we'll have a look here. So what you find in max collar is of course some numbers like 210, you only need 44. Um, it actually doesn't have the DMC numbers number one in this chart um, you need 163 of this 201 of this 101 so you'll find that the numbers are a lot less 
per color. Now, if you're buying all the diamonds, that can cost you more um, because you will have 88 spare from this packet. Um, and from buying two packets of this, you will have 185 spare. Um, so you could end up with more spares due to that. But at the same point, if you're not buying the diamond, you may find that you have more of these already. So you may have 53 of these. That saves you buying a packet. You may have 76 of this one. Um, you know, 64 and 82. You may find that you are able to use more of your spares and then buy the ones that are in bulk. So buy the ones that you need 2,000 of and 4,000 of. Or here, 14,000 of. Um, and also what's helpful on here is this chart has B5200. So you can use that to replace the number one in the mini. You know, it's a similar color. So, um, so yeah, do your homework in regards to the chart. You also gives you chance to price it up. So you can price up how much your, chart, your blank canvas will cost. You can price up how much your diamonds will cost. And then you can decide if you want to do it to then purchase the chart. Um, Heaven and Earth Designs do often, I wouldn't say all the time, um, but they do have regular sales. Now, you can just check the website to see if, if and when they have a sale. Um, or quite often, the likes of the Facebook group, somebody will post that there's a sale. Um, so you can always choose to purchase your chart when it comes to sale time. Uh, but you may have already ordered your diamonds. You know, there's no harm in ordering your diamonds and your canvas if you're definitely going ahead. Let it work its way through the system from whatever country it's been ordered from and then buy your chart when it's on sale so you're ready to go. And if it doesn't go on sale while you're waiting, then buy it for full price when you're done. Um, when it comes to purchasing the chart, there are a few different ways to purchase. So they do offer a hard copy in both regular chart format and large. The only difference between that is on an A4 sheet, the symbols will be smaller on a regular and they'll be clearer to see on a large. That is the main difference between regular and large. So you can get somebody to print them out and send them to you. Or what I did was I purchased the PDF. Now, at first I purchased the PDF and printed it out. When I was working that way, while I could see the regular chart, the large chart would have been easier for the purposes of me printing it on A4 paper or eight and a half by 11, depending on what country you're in. Um, I would have found the large chart a bit easier to read. However, I have now moved over to an app that I use and I can zoom in on that app. So the app doesn't, doesn't matter which chart it is. Um, it will allow me to view the regular chart just as easy. I just zoom in if I want to see it bigger. So if you're planning on using an app, I suggest you go for the regular chart format. Plus the PDFs are available instantly. So you don't have to be waiting about, which is even better in my opinion. Um, so I think that's the main things you need to pay attention to when ordering. Big, pay attention to the size. You don't want to be overwhelmed if this is your first project. Check the colors, you know, check that the colors don't have these DMC numbers below 150. Um, if they do, you will need to find a conversion, but you will need to bear that in mind in your working out. And when you're good to go, um, you can order your chart and it will convert it. It'll let you pay by PayPal um, so you can convert it into whatever currency you're paying in. So I think that's everything on the Heaven and Earth Designs website itself. Um, I have purchased another chart. So I have purchased this one. Um, I have purchased it in a mini. And yes, it is black and white. Um, personally, myself, I'm going to be using spares with this. 
and to look at the chart I have 15 colours so it is 183 by 325 so it's not huge and it has 15 colours in it now because the colours are low of course there is a lot of them however most of these are ones that are quite regular in diamond paintings so I'm personally going to start doing this with my spares and see how it goes um, but I will show you how I'm going to prepare for ordering a canvas um, so I'll come back to you with some information on that um, speech in a moment I've lined up a few more things to show you um, in relation to placing your order um, once you've decided on a Heaven and Earth Designs image and you've worked out what it is that you're going to need to purchase. Now firstly this is the Facebook group um, just in case anybody needs to know how to search for it but it is H-A-E-D which stands for Heaven and Earth Designs Diamond Painting. It's a group on Facebook they have files in there, they have comments, suggestions, loads and loads of stuff. Absolutely amazing. So if you are on Facebook, um, I highly recommend joining there if you are thinking of embarking on a Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, now, based on some of the recommendations from that group um, and other things that they're aware of, um, I have come up with what seems to be you know more recommended in in regards to stores that you can go to that are country based so they're either US or Australia or UK um, that are able to you know assemble what you will need for a painting in various forms so there is Cooper Diamond Art which is in the States um, they do kit up heaven and earth designed kits um, and they ask for the details that are already available on um, the heaven and earth design before you buy, buy the chart so only the name or the link of the chart they do not none of these companies should ask you for your pdf and um, that is something that is sold to you and to you alone for you to do the design um, so nobody should have access to the actual chart. They should only need what is already available on the website. So, um, yeah, Brandy Cooper Art or Cooper Diamond Art is one. Then there is also Stitches to Stones that came up as a popular. They do blank gridded custom design requests as well. I think that's possibly where Heaven and Earth Designs may appear, but that's somewhere that was recommended. Um, you've also got Smith Beads, which is in the UK. Um, now they do have some prices for many of the popular designs on Heaven and Earth designs. So they have how much it will cost you and the approximate size of it. Um, so in fact, there we go, super size, little dreamers tree, max color, size approximately 38 by 250 that's my bad boy that's my one that i've done um i'm doing it with spares so i only bought the canvas but smith speeds in the uk um will quote you for any if they're not there and then we've also got uniquely yours down under um that's an australian site that was also um, a recommendation i say a lot depends on how much work you want to put in yourself compared to how much um, you know you want to be able to, to get the company to do it for you and also you've got the option of supporting local. So there are a few um, recommendations that came up on the group so let me get rid of those. Um, in regards to AliExpress, um, the most popular now this by no means means they're always perfect but the one that came up the most for diamonds was Hankins Painting Store. Now, I've just got a listing here that is 447 colours, so you're getting one of each. Um, and 
of course, when you log in your country, you will be able to get prices that make more sense to you, even though this one's in US anyway. Um, you may need to message them with a list more than likely um, and, and then have a total number of packets. And I would communicate via message before placing an order um, because then you can establish the price, you can make sure things are right, follow the link that they advise and they can link it up to that message to make sure that you get the right item. So um, yeah, Hankins Painting Store seemed to be the most highly recommended um, or came up the most often for drills. Now I have used another seller um, for some drills that I needed for my big painting. However, they did them in pots of 200. So I wouldn't necessarily use them if I was starting one from scratch. But if I'm using primarily my spares, which I currently am, um, but had some colours that I needed vastly more of, then they worked out as perfect for me. Um, and then for the blank canvas, Calvert Crafts seems to have come up as being really good for a blank canvas to be provided. So one of the things I do need to do is I need to work out um, what size chart I need for doing my mini beautiful light. So the canvas is a one, oh, 183 stitches by 0 0.25 gives me 45.75. So I will need to round that up to a minimum of 46 centimeters. And you'll see I've already got a template for a note which we'll go through in a moment. And then it is 325 by 0 0.25 gives me 81.25 so that needs to be a minimum of 82 so that's my canvas size that I need minimum 64 by 82 so I am going to have a look on their standard so and I forgot how many I said so 64 by 82 I don't think they've got one that is close. By the looks of it, there's not one that's close enough even. Um, see, 60 by 80 is close. Possibly 70 by 100. So I can have a look at an estimated price of that, which is showing as $30. I don't know why that's not showing for me in English. Oh, here we go. Currency. Let me put that in one that makes sense to me anyway. Oh, and this isn't even, I thought this was going in alphabetical order, but it's not. Why is it not? Okay, so, okay, it's not coming up with a pound. United Kingdom pound is what they call it. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so maybe the 70 by 100, is that the square one? Yeah, so I've, I've picked square drill, whereas this one is round drill. Square drill, 70 by 100 would do it. So that would give me an extra six centimeters on one and an extra 18 on another. So if I did just want to order without speaking to the seller, I could order big. Um, and go that way. However, um, I may just message them and see what that comes back as. So this is what I've got ready as my template for messaging them. Now, when I tend to message them, um, I will always message them from the item that I'm looking at. So that links it up. Um, and I can message them from here. Uh, here we go. So we've got contact. 
So in the item itself, this is of course the web page. It will be slightly different on mobile, which is why it took me a moment to find them. So I can go here to message them and ask them a question. Now, first off, it straight away puts in the item that I'm talking about, which can always help to make sure that there is clarity. Um, and then for your message, you want to, you, you know, bear in mind, they speak a different language. They're in a different country, they speak a different language. So try and keep your conversation quite light in that sense. Um, try not to use any big words. So um, I'm wanting to purchase a piece of custom white square canvas with a sticky grid area of, and I want this to be 64 centimeters by 82 centimeters, and a total dimension. Now in this, what I'm gonna do is add some centimeters for a border. Now on the last one that I did, I added about four centimeters either side, so eight centimeters. Um, so that would be 72 centimetres by 90 centimetres. Can you please tell me how much this would be? Thank you for your assistance and then I'll put my name. So that is the message that I want to sell to them so I can find out the price. So we'll pop that in and send that off. Now, they do work in a different time zone to us, so that may take a while to, of course, come back with a response. But I'm not in a rush to um, get this one started. I've got another one to do, so I'm happy to just send them that message at the moment. And then what... Oh, I'm on the wrong one. Um, what I would ideally want is it for to either be a bit less than that... Um, if not, what I would want to check is when they say 70 by 100, is that the actual sticky area or not? I'm not sure if it says. I would assume it to be the sticky area. So it says painting size and canvas size, which is great. And then it goes into their standard. Okay, so I would assume it to be the sticky area, but you may need to check with them. Um, and then of course, we'll have a border on it anyway. Doesn't actually say. Okay, maybe that's something that we'll find out. Um, but they people have recommended that they are, are very good with um, communication. So we'll see what happens with that. And then last but not least, um, I use an app called Pattern Keeper. Uh, many of you will have seen this on my um, Heaven and Earth Designs. But um, this is a highly recommended from me if you are wanting to do a diamond painting. It, um, I say, watch my whip and chats and my other talks about this. It is only available on Android and you do get to test it for two weeks before you're asked to purchase it. Um, but this app is wonderful. It does work with Heaven and Earth Design. Um, and it is fantastic at helping you keep track of your PDF, marking off what you've done and can make the process a lot quicker. Um, so, yeah, that's something that I also believe that you should have a look into. Um, I say it does use Android. So there are a few hacks for you to make it work on um, your own on, a, on an iOS but I don't know of those. It wasn't something that a route that I wanted to go down. So I did get an Android tablet. Um, but you can view your chart, select your stitches, track your progress. 
um, and they have got more help and they do also have a Facebook page. So if you are on Facebook, um, they do have a Pattern Keeper page and that is also full of helpful information and they, they post on there quite often. Um, they do also have a designer list um, so they will tell you which cross stitch patterns will work with the app. So that's another thing to check out. And I think that's it um, that I can give you as suggestions and, and help for ordering your own heaven and earth design painting. Um, let me know if there are any other questions. They will get answered in a whip and chat unless there's something huge that I've forgotten um, and I will need to create another video for, but I do feel like this one is quite a long one on its own. So thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.